Evening, Dr. Rathau. Thanks very much um, uh, for your time. Well, first of all, uh, for those of us who are uninitiated, invasive alien species, what are those and why should we be uh, bothered uh, by their presence? Good evening to all. Good evening to your viewers. Um, Invasive alien species are those organisms that come from outside any of the boundaries that you have. Say, for example, what you ate this morning was probably potatoes, was probably tomatoes, and most of those come from somewhere, and those are alien because they do not come from this country. So aliens have been introduced in many parts of the areas for food, for agriculture, for, to provide shade for, in the cases of trees and all of that. But not all of them have got a problem, and hence we concentrate only a percentage of those that have escaped from being managed and going into the natural environment and are able to spread on their own. Those are the ones which we are concerned about, and those are the ones which South Africans and everybody in the world is, is concerned about, because they've now escaped captivity, or they've now escaped human intervention, and they, have now, uh, they are now interacting in the environment and affecting biodiversity by outcompeting an indigenous species. And we now know that it is not only a biodiversity issue, but it, invasive species also affect health. We also know that they also affect food security through affecting agricultural production. Now, what is your report, the report that you've produced, saying about those species that you're saying you particularly concerned about? So this report that has been produced by the South African National Biodiversity Institute, first of all, it is the first of its own in the world. South Africa should be proud that we produced a report which is an assessment of the status of biological invasions on all aspects. So we have assessed um, uh, pathways of introduction, which pathways of uh, allowing the, the species to come into the country. We have also assessed the status of alien species. We have also assessed which areas are invaded, and we have also assessed the effectiveness of interventions. And this is not, on, not only that, this is a legal requirement from the National Environment Management Act, which requires that the South African National Biodiversity Institute must, uh, must develop a status report to report on the status of biological invasions and their management in the Republic. So this report looked at all those aspects of the pathways of introduction, the species, the areas, and the interventions, and how well are we doing as a country in terms of managing by, uh, invasive species. And this report, as I said, is the first of its own in the world, and it is also providing a baseline in terms of how are we going to be managing invasives and how go we, are we going to monitor them going forward. And we have to report this to the minister every three years. But what are the key findings, Doc? So we found a number of things, and I'm just going to highlight a few. Yes, we yes. know that uh, now a number of species are entering the country. At least seven species each year are entering the republic. And in, in some instances, they are entering deliberately through pet trade, through horticulture, and all of that. In some instances, they are entering unintentionally through your stowaways, through the ships, or through any uh, uh, trade commodities that we have into the country. So we found that at least seven species are entering the country, and we have to be dealing with that. The second component that we found was that over 2,000 species are alien in the Republic, and about 38% of those, which is about just over 700, are actually invasive in the wild. 
And within those, about 10%, which is about 100, have got massive impacts. And those are mostly plants. About 80% of those are plants. And we know about Lantana Camara, we know about Water Hyacinth, and we have, the, we have documented the impacts of those. And those are the ones which we would like to highlight that they have a massive impacts. It's just a, a, a few percentage, but they have massive impacts. And this is only looking at the water sector. This is looking at what impacts they have on biodiversity, what impacts they have on ecosystem services. There are other impacts as well that we will have to look at going forward. For example, in the health sector, for example, in the agricultural sector, for example, in the livelihoods, because we know that some of the species as well do affect livelihoods. Doc, that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rachlau, for speaking to us uh, this uh, evening. He is, of course, uh, the director uh, of the South African National Biodiversity Institute.